Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here. Um, it's probably been about a week and a half or two weeks since I have made a video and I'm okay with that. I personally wanted to take some time and um, didn't want to just throw up a video for no reason. I wanted to wait till I actually had some stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about and show you guys. And so it is that time. I'm not going to make any promises on schedules or anything like that because obviously you guys know I can't keep any of that stuff. So. I have been, I don't know how much you can see at my desk right now, but I have been heavily involved with 3D printing and printing out a ton of different things. Um, my uh, full tech after the move is finally up and 100%. I did a little bit of uh, uh, kind of calibrating and uh, cable management as well as um, I had to replace the hot end. Um, for some reason after a print, I went to go print something else out and the Hot end would not heat up at all. Luckily, I had a replacement. I don't know why I had a replacement, but I just basically undid the old one, popped in the new one, wired it into the board, and it was good to go. Um, I then finally, finally, after so much headache, got OctoPrint set up on the Raspberry Pi again, so it is wirelessly printing, which is awesome. Um, believe it or not, the issue I was having, which I found out after probably like two weeks of on and off troubleshooting and getting frustrated, was that the Wi-Fi here that we set up is like a six or seven word phrase and something to do with the spaces was causing an issue. I tried, I saw in forums people saying to, instead of putting the uh, quotes, just to put a apostrophe around the uh, Wi-Fi and I tried that, that didn't work. And so basically in the end, what I ended up doing was is taking all those five or six words and crunching them and removing the spaces and I fired up the Octo print or the Raspberry Pi and it worked beautifully so that was awesome. I then went ahead and set up the uh, Bob CNC uh, Prusa i3 style printer and that is a hundred percent good to go now and completely calibrated which is awesome. Uh, I had to do a little bit of work with the uh, EEPROM basically resetting or just getting the height according because when it was going down to print it had about I don't know, half to a full centimeter of a gap, so I just had to re basically remeasure that and mess around a little bit with the uh, bed, the leveling screws. Um, as you can hopefully probably see here, if not, now you can see them. I picked up three more Raspberry Pis. I'm going full wireless. Um, the, uh, I, as I stated, the Fulger Tech is already set up with the OctoPrint. Um, now the uh, Bob CNC is completely set up with OctoPrint. So I've got two more. One of them is going to be for the DaVinci, which I've had a lot of you ask about, is it alive? How is it? So um, in the next little bit here, I'm going to finally clean out all the crap that's basically, since it's become a storage unit, um, clean out all the crap from inside, clean it up, um, run some test prints, get it calibrated again, and then I will show to you guys that it is indeed working, and it has been, uh, it's coming up on two years since I originally purchased it, so it's got quite a lot of time. I also am going to be messing around a little bit with Astro Print, which I think will be really cool. Astro Print isn't really a competition to OctoPie or OctoPrint. It's basically just a different flavor of it, essentially. Um, I don't want to say a dumbed-down flavor, but it's a more simplistic version with a cleaner UI. Kind of, uh, from what I've seen, it looks like it's kind of built off of OctoPrint or OctoPie. Uh, but again, it's a simpler version, and it looks really nice and really clean. So uh, I'm going to install it on one of these Raspberry Pis and see how I like it. And then I'll probably do a comparison between the OctoPie, uh, OctoPrint, and the AstroPrint. Um, the only thing is I did, uh, they actually tweeted at me, AstroPrint, basically saying that I'll need a Wi-Fi dongle. Even though the Raspberry Pi does have a Wi-Fi dongle, apparently you need another one to create a hotspot or something like that. So um, that's kind of a turn off because one of the reasons why I paid a little extra to get the Raspberry Pi 3s was because it has the built-in Wi-Fi. I didn't want to buy a separate Wi-Fi card. But if I do end up liking AstroPrint enough, I probably will just fork out the money. Or I think I have an extra Wi-Fi uh, adapter if it's compatible that I can use for the time being. So uh, that's what's going on with that. I didn't really mention this, but I got rid of my iPhone and picked up this $60 phone off of uh, Amazon. It's like Amazon Prime exclusive, exclusive phone, excuse me, that normally retails at $120, but if you get it with ads basically on the lock screen, so if I unlock it, there's like a little ad in the hallway, you can see it there, um, it's $60, and it has been a killer phone. I actually do not miss my iPhone at all. Um, I don't know why I've stuck to iOS so long. The only issue I really have is with iMessage, and I don't have any service at work, so I have issues with texting. Um, my girlfriend or family or anybody really while I'm you know, at work Monday through Friday. Um, but other than that, it's been killer. And the reason why I'm talking about this is that there is a app that somebody um, developed. I don't think it's from OctoPrint directly. It might be, but it's called OctoDroid that I uh, downloaded and installed and I have been using on the Fulgur Tech 
uh, machine to connect it with the Raspberry Pi and basically monitor prints and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys a little demo of that in this video because I thought it was something kind of neat that maybe um, some of you might be interested in because I don't really like using the web UI from a smartphone. I don't think it looks that good. Um, and I sometimes have errors with it, so heck, if you have no issues with it, good for you, but if you do want to look at something else, then, you know, it's potentially an option. All right, guys, so let's take a look at Octodroid really quick here. I am not associated with them at all whatsoever. I just, again, have been using it. I think it's pretty sweet, so we'll take a look at some of the features. Basically, you can see your uh, current temperatures for your hotbed as well as your extruder, and you can actually go ahead and adjust them and set them to whatever you'd like via the app, which is pretty neat. Along with that, you have full control of your 3D printer. So, I mean, you can move the X axis up, down, left, right. Um, you can extrude or retract the filament if needed to do so. Like, let's say you wanted to do a quick, uh, you know, filament swap. You don't have to use your computer. You can literally just do it on your phone. You can also browse all the files that you have uploaded to your Raspberry Pi, the OctoPrint, and select them and start printing or delete them or anything like that directly from the app, which is really cool. Um, You've got connection settings, so if you've got a couple different printers, I for a while had a couple of printers hooked up to one Raspberry Pi, so I would switch in between the two so you can choose the serial port as well as the baud rate. I'm not sure what the commands does. It says cannot find any commands. I haven't read documentation, but maybe uh, that's G code stuff. And then under settings, you've got a couple options like push notifications, which is rad. It'll show you the current percentage your print is at, and it'll do a little notification, basically letting you know that your print is uh, you know ready. Uh, so yeah, there's some really cool settings here. So if you guys do want to take a look at it, it's in the uh, Android or Google Play Store and it doesn't cost anything, which is even cooler. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys found that interesting and uh, you know, some of you maybe will give it a go. If you do, please let me know what you think in the uh, comments down below. I have been messing around a little bit more with some 3D modeling, which is really exciting. Um, I actually signed up for a course on Udemy, which if you don't know what that is, it is a website that has a ton of courses and anything you could ever think of from English to programming to, um, I mean, learning to ride a bike, not really, but there's a lot of different courses and I found a course that had like 4,000 or 5,000 students and 3,000 reviews and it's got like 4.7 stars. It basically is a uh, course that I want to say is like 50 something hours and it is like 200 something lectures and it takes you through the Blender um, basically modeling and animation software and teaches you the UI um, and teaches you how to use the different tools along with some sample projects to um, take what you've learned and apply that to something that you can 3D model. So um, you will probably be seeing some 3D modeling stuff whether that's speed art or live streams of me modeling stuff for fun um, down the line here. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it and I definitely think that that is a really good direction for me to go with and I can use it a lot and yeah, so hopefully you guys are excited for that. I have still got my Delta printer over here from G-Tech that I have not finished setting up. Um, so once all that is said and done, uh, finally we'll get over to that and hopefully get it all calibrated and set up because I really, really want to have a Delta printer set up and I want to try the dual extrusion um, along with the auto bed leveling features and stuff like that and eventually that will be hooked up with a Raspberry Pi as well. So on that note, I think I will end the video. Um, again, next video will probably be something about the DaVinci, but uh, I don't know for certain. Uh, I hope you guys have all been doing well. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys have been up to and uh, yeah, on that note, I'm out. Daniel from ModBot, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for more videos on 3D printing and all sorts of other stuff. And uh, I'm out. Peace, guys.